Welcome to round five of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of November 2nd. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Catherine Holeko. Hello. And Nicole Eredix. Hi there. Today, we're taking a break from talking and complaining and obsessing and instead shouting out things other people are doing that we think you'll find as useful or enjoyable as we do. We call this our Roundabout Roundup. I'll start with my pick. This is not something I have used, but I saw it and thought it was adorable. And if you are in a position to need such a thing, go check it out. Uh, Two of the pros from Dancing with the Stars, Pasha and Daniela, who are married, have started an online platform to teach people dances for their wedding. And there are a variety of different levels you can... They can just teach you some steps and you can kind of take it from there, or they have a number of different songs that they have choreographed a dance to, and you can, they will teach you that specific dance and give you the piece of music to give to your DJ, or you can have them completely choreograph something new for you to the music that you want with any particular uh, flourishes that you want. One of the things they mention is, if you want to recreate the dance from Dirty Dancing, we'll help you do it. Oh, God. So it just wow. seemed to that me like- <laughs> Yeah, it does. <laughs> I think that the middle the middle tier there where they give you the music and they teach you the steps to do a nice dance to it, I think that's the one I would go for. But um, it seems like such a cute idea and something that, I mean, you can do virtually. You just Zoom, I guess, Zoom with them or however they do it. Um, and then have something really nice and special to do without having to go someplace. Uh, when my husband and I got married, we were taking lessons at Arthur Murray. And I think our teacher gave us some little, a couple of little special steps to do. But, um, you know, for our, certainly for our lockdown times, this would be the way to do it. So if you are soon to be in need of a wedding dance or know somebody who is, uh, share this uh, website with them and take a look at it. I think it's a really cute idea. It's at weddingdance.school. Uh, Nicole, what do you have this week? Well, I am going to shout out. Um, something that I use every day, (laughs) almost every day. Um, when I wash my clothes, I just discovered a new product, fairly new product, um, by Downy and they're called Downy Unstoppables. And what they are, um, are these little scent beads that you can put into your wash before you start the cycle and they just um give your clothes a nice smell. It's not they're not like a fabric softener um or uh, an actual detergent. It's just a scent that um is nice for your clothes. And I find find it particularly helpful because I have one of those washing machines that is like a high efficiency washing machine, but mm-hmm. it like it has some kind of weird smell to it, like a lot of the times. Like it I don't know what the deal is. I that's what I guess high efficiency washing machines are known for that Mm. (laughs) to have kind of a little bit of a, I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know why it happens, (laughs) but (laughs) the, these beads definitely combat any kind of odor that comes from nice. Unless of course you're using like really heavily scented fabric softener. Maybe that takes the place of that in the washing machine. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, these beads are definitely, you know, like they're a little luxury item because they're not cheap, but it definitely makes your clothes smell nice. So another thing they should make play doh smell like is, you know, fabric. Yes, softening. fresh yes. laundry. <laughs> oh, Downy, get on it. Uh, so, Catherine, what do you have this week? Well, um, Terry and I watch Dancing with the Stars on mm-hmm. Monday nights, and we talk about it for um, our round two podcast every week. Um, But I also, this season, have started watching The Voice because of a connection to one of the, um, what do you call them, candidates, singers, anyway. Um, So his name is John Holiday, and he teaches at the university near where um, I live, and we have some friends whose, both of their sons... um, are his students. Oh, wow. And he is really wonderful. Um, if you watch the first episode of the show, the, the first set of blind auditions, um, cause that's the way the voice mm-hmm. works, you know, um, the four judges who are Kelly Clarkson, John Legend, Blake Shelton, and Gwen Stefani. Um, they're all sitting 
turned around so that they can't see the person singing. Um, and then if they decide that they are interested in working with that person, they turn their chair around. Um, and I had never, like I said, I never watched it before, but the banter and conversation among the four mm-hmm. judges is really pretty <laughs> fun. Um, oh, cool. they just like, constantly tease each other because it's it's a competition for mm-hmm. them um they're picking the people that they want to work with and then um if their candidate wins then mm-hmm. they kind of share the victory it, at the end of the, mm-hmm. of the show if their candidate wins they kind of share in that in that victory because they were the coach of that person um so they just did all kinds of silly things, like have like a campaign style video that John Legend, you know, ostensibly made about Blake Shelton and how he lies <laughs> to his to his proteges and things like that. Um, so it's just it's just fun, and um, you know, I'm going to keep watching just because of this mm-hmm. person that uh, this John Holiday, but. Um, but it's enjoyable, you know, even if you don't have a have a connection to that person just because of the way they interact. Nice. Mm-hmm. So that is the voice uh on Monday nights. If you want first watch Dancing with the Stars so that you can listen to us talk about it and then record the voice and watch it <laughs> later in the week when you have plenty yeah. of free time. Sure. <laughs> well, that'll work. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. And that is it for another week of Parenting Roundabout. If you missed any of our earlier episodes this week, look them up on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you get your podcasts to hear what we have to say about virtual school Zoom bombing, negative comments, and uh, toys for grownups or, or nostalgic purposes. You can also find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you'll find us at Roundabout Chat. And please visit our Amazon shop at amazon.com slash shop slash mamatude where you can find links to a lot of the things we talk about. Have a great weekend and see you back here on Monday.